Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we'll be building the Cosmic Gyroscope Farm. Uh, I logged in this morning, and the farm just decided to finally work as intended. Uh, I'm also going to be building the Cosmic Power Glove next tutorial, and I'll just build some other small farms after that. So, moving into this farm, it's about 100% efficient with advanced farms. But since this is a grind farm with a quadruple assembler, you should only use normal mines. With that being said, let's get straight to the build. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, get your extra large platforms and build up 9. And you're just going to want to make like a 4x4 four four that will just cover the entire plot. Okay. So now that you have that, get your amber mines. Put them just like that, one away from the corner. I'm gonna use like basic mines, but if you want 100% efficient, you have to use advanced mines. But again, this is a grind farm, so you're probably not gonna do that. Okay. So now let's get the silver mines. Just put them right behind there. Get your sanction mines. Sorry for the lag. <laughs> okay. Get the lead mine. Where is it? I always have trouble looking for the lead mine. Okay. So, you can place these in any order you want, just make sure the silver and sanction are together and the lead and diablium are also together. And you're just gonna place the diablium over here, just like that. Next, what you're gonna wanna do, just get some straight conveyors and just go two away from the edge and just start putting them down and stop right there. And just do the same thing over here. It'll make a little bit of a mess, but it'll be fine for now. You're gonna flip the container so it faces this way now, not container, conveyor. And you're gonna leave a 2x2 two two hole right there. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over on this side. So now let's get our salt mines. For this, I recommend at least two advanced salt mines per like little quadrant because for some reason it just it just doesn't really work properly like the salt mines aren't like a hundred percent working properly to have just the amount of items to be right so I'm just gonna buy a few more And these are really cheap. I think you can you guys can buy some of these. You only need six or five. You might work with five. Okay, so now you can delete this. And you can go down three. And just build the 4x4 four four platform again. Just like this. Okay. And what I like to do, I just like to make a little staircase so I can just get up easier. And I'm gonna sell all the drops really quickly. Okay. So. What you're gonna do, get a short conveyor. Put it right under the sanctuary in the silver. Get your ore crusher. And get some ladders. Rotate them so they face correctly so they're like inside of it. And just put them just like that. So now those should be crushing. I'm gonna get the mixer. Just put the mixer right there. That's right. Okay, yeah, right there. So now the mixer is in there. Get your stack container. Put it right there and make sure it's the right orientation. Uh, get 
get your grinder. Here it is. So you're just gonna put a grinder right there. And just a bunch of straight conveyors leading into that grinder. Then you're just gonna wanna take your ladders and put them on here again so that the items just don't fall off. in place. Let's go over to here. So what we're going to want to do, take two short conveyors, put them right over here where the items drop, then take a right turn conveyor, put it right there, and let me just buy some machines real quick. We need an ore crusher, mixer, and a grinder. Okay. So you can just take your ore crusher, put it right there, and get your mixer. Face it this way, and put it right there. Next, get a stack container, make sure it's facing the right way. over here, and some more ladders, like this, okay, so now those are in place, I think should like fall over the place, I'm just gonna sell all the drops real quickly, in place. I'm just gonna get two cell zones for now. Get your cell zones and just place them right here and right there so it doesn't make a clog. Also, if you gotta put this, it just puts some ladders just like this. And also put them on this side so your items don't fall over the place. Okay, so next thing we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna get our small shoots, place them just like this on every single one of these farms, or only the, the farms that are on the outside just like this. Then you're just gonna build out just like this, and you're gonna delete the first ones you placed. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to get your straight conveyors and just build them all the way down over here. A right turn conveyor. Another right turn conveyor. And that goes directly into an ore crusher. Let me just buy these things again. Yeah, you're gonna need three of these each this farm. I did that so like the clogs are reduced because there are there are a lot of items coming through this farm. From what I've seen the other farm is basically clog proof. So next you're gonna want to put a uh, straight conveyor then you're gonna get the mixer and put it down right after that conveyor. Then get a dropper container, and it fits in this little neat 2x2 two two area. 
get your stack container, face it the right way. Get your grinder. Here it is. So now that we have that, we can get our left turn conveyor. Just like that, and just like that. So now we have those. Put it just like that, and don't worry about this. You're not going to need to put anything there. I'm just going to sell all the drops again. Okay, so the basics of this layer are now basically done. Um, what we need to do now is just put the dual alloy smelters. Okay. So... Let's see, how did I do this? I'm gonna jump into my...
side facing towards the what's it called? Shoot. I'm gonna just pick those up and get your I don't have it. Induction smelter, where is it? Okay now I have the induction smelter. I can place it down right over here and it will start spinning these out. I placed it wrong. Make sure the conveyor is like in front of it. Since it's like off center. Is this a ghost I don't want? Okay. Please work now. Thank you. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna get a basic container. Pick up all of those. And the moment we've been waiting for, get your triple alloy smelter and just plop it down right there. And you just pick up these to reset it, and pick up these to reset it, just start spitting out cosmic ingots. Okay, so now the majority of the farm is done. Maybe like 80% of the farm. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do... This was just to hold it. You can delete this now. Short conveyor. Order. On one side, you're gonna have a rolling machine. Is this right? Oh wait, no, it was two short conveyors, sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna put a basic container right here, or otherwise it will just clog up the entire system on one side and not the other. So just put a basic container there for now and then we'll change it to a splitter afterwards. So after you place those two conveyors, get your dropper and place it down just right there. And get yourself a press. Just a normal press, not anything special. to get yourself a extruder and put it right after that press. So next what you're gonna wanna do just get a basic container and a small shoot. So you can delete all of this now. <clears throat> you can delete all of this down two short conveyors, that's a lag spike, two short conveyors, and then another one right here and right here, a splitter container, and two basic containers just like this. So you're gonna hook this up to two advanced assemblers, these are really cheap, I mean like you don't like, I don't recommend using advanced assemblers, I mean, basic assemblers. <clears throat> okay, so now that's in place. We basically do the same thing on the other side. Take your conveyors and put one right there, one right there, and one right there. Splitter container. Two basic containers right in front of those. 
get some more of them. I'll just get two more of these advanced assemblers. Put them just like that. Okay, now we're basically on the final home stretch, if you want to call it that. We're going to take two basic containers and just put them right here. Just like this. Now get a left turn conveyor orientated so it faces this way. Oh wait, that's wrong. Make it face like that. Then just put a short conveyor in front of it. And for this side, we're just gonna get a bunch of basic containers one right there, one right there, two blocks away, one right there, and if we can go over here, oh wait, that's wrong, okay, wait, put one right there, uh, one right here, and one right here. This is actually supposed to be one more block off. Get your left turn. And just put it just like that. Not a big deal. And just basically repeat what we've done. Get your dual assembler. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need advanced dual assembler. Put your cell zones down and Finally, the last step, we're gonna take this, get your splitter container handy, rotate it, and just put it right there. And it should start spitting it out everywhere. Oh, I've done this thing facing wrong. Let me just do it so I can show that it works actually. How did I face it wrong? In your tutorial, you didn't do it like this, otherwise, you also have to delete all of this. Where'd it go? Okay, now make sure it's facing the right orientation. Delete these and put down your advanced somewheres again. And get a shoot right there. And that should be the entire farm done. And of course I made some more mistakes along the way. Make sure those are facing the right way. And these over here. I'm just gonna delete that for now. Wait, these are making cosmic reinforced points, what? They're supposed to be making points. Do you see this is this is what I mean? What? What is it making? Oh, I did it wrong. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry for this big, big mistake. I mean, what you're, what you're doing? It's it's a real easy fix. Just delete those again. <laughs> Things are just really not working out for me right now. Just make some temporary platforms. Okay, on this side is supposed to be a rolling machine. Just like that. And on this side is supposed to be the extruder, not the other way around. So now I also have to clean these out.
It's basically the same thing I'm doing. Not doing anything different. I just have to switch those things out. Put those down. Make sure that these are facing the right way, actually. And put your basic container down. So these are actually making screws now, which is white. And you're gonna need to put some conveyors over here. I believe I made such a big mistake. Okay, I'm just gonna sell all the drops. I don't feel like collecting this. I'm gonna get my assemblers and just put them down just like this again. I don't know why this is making such a huge mess. It really shouldn't. Like, you see what I mean? Like, what is going on here? Like, what? Oh, this isn't even going into... Okay, cosmic pipe. There we go. And this is also cosmic plate, of course. No. No. Oh, I hate fixing these cogs with bad items. Okay, we're just gonna take it like that, put it like that. Get these plates out of here. And put in your container again. Take that out. And there you go. That's the gyroscopes. I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's making gyroscopes now. Sorry for this big mess of a mess that I made over here. Um, this is also wrong, of course. Let me put in the basic container there. Is it like over here as well? Like how far does this extend to? Why is it such a mess? Okay, there we go. It should be working now, fully functioning, like intended. So there you go guys, that's the Cosmic JavaScript tutorial. If you found this video enjoyable, or found it at least just useful, uh, please make sure to just hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss another one. Also, share this video with your friends or anyone else who plays this game, because I think it'll really help them. See you guys next time.